because what people are saying is that if we leave the EU, it's disastrous because of all the leave, we'll lose, leave the rich, blah, blah, blah. But the truth is, we'll move, if we've got any sense, to a liberalized economy fundamentally under free trade. I mean, you know, it isn't in our interest not to have free trade for the sorts of reasons that Mr. Rosenell has pointed out. But, you know, it pays us to be a global player under free trade. It pays us to, to sell our goods to other people in the world market and to take their goods at well prices. That will lower our cost of living. We have actually done a simulation of, of, of leaving the EU and the, the, the first thing that comes out is, a, is, a, is, a, is a, an 8% drop in the cost of living on day one because of the move from EU prices to world prices. Now that is really worth having and it means that uh, you know, we, we then are in a world in which we don't actually, we, we can of course sign lots of extra trade agreements. We will definitely be forced by the EU for the reason you've given, that they sell so much to us, to have some sort of agreement with them. I mean, the last thing they will want us to do is to, to walk away without some sort of free trade agreement, so-called, with the EU because they are so dependent on our market relative to our dependence on theirs. I mean, they are selling to us stuff at inflated prices on a massive scale mm. compared with what we sell to them on inflated prices within the customs union. And so, you know, there will be definitely that trade agreement with them because they will push for it, as you rightly said. And otherwise, as I've kind of argued already, you know, we don't need to do trade agreements with anybody else. I mean, frankly, we, we can take the world price. And if we do a trade agreement with, say, I don't know, New Zealand or something, it won't affect the world price we get. It'll affect what New Zealanders have to pay for our goods. Because, you know, we, we sell the stuff at the world price, and then the New Zealanders, if they put a tariff on it, then consumers have to pay more. So it's really a problem for them, not for us. And so I'm, I'm sure we will do trade agreements. There's nothing... Um,